Hello there, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included here on our Olympus Colony. It's so hard to keep episodes below 30 minutes. We just get so busy doing stuff. I've been thinking about, you know, well, maybe I should start streaming, you know, stuff like that, which I've done before, and I don't mind streaming. Actually, it can be very enjoyable. Um, my problem is that it's, it's, it's all about time. Like, I could stream on the weekends, but if I end up wanting to do anything else on a weekend it's going to destroy the stream um it'd be hard to stream on the weekdays because of my schedule i would stream but then it would be i mean for asia it would be good because it would be in the middle of their day but for everyone else in the world it'd be like you know 2 3 a.m stuff like that um maybe 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning I mean because see I, I from a US standpoint like Eastern Standard Time um, I work like 9 a.m. in the morning all the way up till 4 or 5 in the evening sometimes later depending on what's going on um, and my schedule sometimes shifts and stuff because of what I need to do and, and stuff from a support perspective um, okay, we got that. We still got a vacuum. All right, we're good. <laughs> we accidentally, we accidentally got rid of our petroleum lock, but that's okay. We won't need it again, so we're fine. Um, but anyways, it, it makes it hard if I was going to stream. Because that would, I've been thinking, you know, I could stream. I would upload the entire stream, which would be three, four hours. And then I could just break the stream up into episodes that can happen through the week for the people that don't can't watch the streams or stuff like that. Um, possibly, you know, I could do that. And, and then maybe it would get a little interactivity. But then, like I said, the fear is is that okay, I start streaming, and nobody joins outside of maybe a couple individuals. I mean, some people might join in the Asia market, obviously, but most of my viewers, because you know, I speak English and all of that. Um, automatically come from the US and you know um, Canada and the UK you know not that I have lots of viewers but you know that's where most of them come from so if I was to adjust and change you know that changes the whole the whole thing all right we can start running this and cooling this down so, excellent. We'll get this to a nice cold temperature, and then we'll be able to activate this. This we don't need yet, but it's on standby. Uh, we should definitely move that out. There we go. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, for this episode, what are we going to do? Well, we're, com we're continuously working on stuff. I'm going to get um, some more glass going as well. So that we can get it uh, built up. Our plan is to try to get some good you know, resources built up. Uh, cooling loop is still working. That's good. Uh, we're making steel. So, we are already up to 5,000 from 1,000. So excellent job there we're going to continue to drive our steel production what's wrong with you guys oh we never delivered suits so deliver suit deliver suit deliver suit deliver suit deliver suit deliver suit and deliver suit which probably means we need some additional suits um so we'll add some some iron suits because we've got lots of iron volcanoes so we'll always have iron so we'll do that just get some additional suits and then as they come down this will feed them in so no problem there excellent uh we're working on some background for our bedrooms so that's good we did get this cooling loop in which means we need to add a little more polluted water which is why we have this here so that is not a problem. Let's go ahead and feed this in and we'll have to watch it here. Um, we'll need to cut this and as soon as that is out, we will cut this. There we go. That way we can go ahead and knock this out since we expanded this loop. Perfect. 
<laughs> what is this set at? Yeah, 20. That's fine. Actually, I'm gonna bump it up to 24 just a little bit because I don't want this getting too cold, but I don't want it getting too hot. So, all right. Uh, so it's gonna be a while before we load everything up, but let's not forget that because that'll come be a problem. Um, Water-wise, let's undo that. We don't need to split it for now. Um, I understand why this was here, but we have moved on. So let's just remove all of that. Okay. Um, we we're going to put cooling in here. We may eventually. Um, we should go ahead and get rid of this um, as well. All right, so that's going. Uh, this is feeding automatically in, so won't need to change that. And we're good here. All right, cool. All right, so this is cooling. We're working on this. We're going to clean this up, so that's excellent. We will just let them do that and build all of that out. So there's no hurry to get it activated, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, and then... Here, we don't need to build that. Save a queue. Where are we at here? So we're full. So it looks like this is our divide marker. Our last one is right here. So it has to go around the loop. So I'm going to kind of... Oh, no, well, there's a little bit right here. Oh, I see. We actually used up all the polluted water. All right, well, it's going to take a while then because we've got to wait for the... We've got to wait for it. All right, we still got to fill this loop as well uh, with polluted water, too. So, yeah, is this thing dormant? Ten cycles. It's going to produce a little bit, but <clears throat> not necessarily enough. So we'll have to wait a little bit on that, I think. Um, but we'll still we'll still watch it. What's our temperature in the pool getting? Oh, no, it's still nice and cool. The one we could cool down would be this. This is probably something we're going to have to do as well. Wow, we're still getting overheat damage here. What's our... Oh, because the salt water is 70 degrees. What did we make this out of? We made it out of gold. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, we'll deconstruct it. We'll put in steel. We have the steel. It's okay. And if it prevents us from wasting gold, then that's fine. We're okay with that. Uh, uh, there we go. Just put that back in. <clears throat> Alrighty. Did we tag this as a 9? No, let's tag that as a 9. Otherwise, they won't go get it. Um, oxygen and oxygen. All right, so we got those set up. So that's good. All right, well, um, what is next? Um, I think I want to spend a little bit more time on some farms. All right, we fixed this so it's not too cold, but it still provides cooling to keep it from getting too hot. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I think I want to figure out farming and stuff like that, um, especially from our food perspective. I mean, we have fried mushrooms, right, that we're making, and we have barbecue, and then primarily, you know, technically we, we, we could make a lot of berry stuff, um, you know, so we're make, we can make bristleberry, we can make barbecue, we can make fried mushrooms. Those are our primary farms, and we have pinch of pepper. Um, <clears throat> So we could really focus on stuffed berry, which is a four and a plus 12, right? And we are making stuffed berry. So I think that would be a good fit. My first question is for our pinch of pepper farms, where are we sending it? All right, so we're sending it up here. It gets mixed with the fertilizer. It comes there. I think we have a good system. Um, but I want to make sure. Okay, those are fertilizers. They're going to go down and over to the farms. What's this one? Can't see it yet. That's a reed fiber. That's a reed fiber seed. That's a reed fiber. 
<clears throat> I'm pretty sure I have it set up. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this one here filters pinch pepper. Duh. All I have to do is bring it up. So if it's pinch of pepper, it comes into this and it goes directly to the kitchen. Okay. But it it gets output here, which we don't need pinch of pepper for any of this, right? There's nothing here we would use pinch of pepper for. Yeah, there's nothing there we would use pinch of pepper for. So technically, I need this, and we may already have it set. I need this to pick up the pinch of pepper. Where is this going? I have a filter here. Sometimes it's so hard because you put the equipment here and you can't see where stuff is going. So is this picking up the pinch of pepper? Okay, so if that picks up the pinch of pepper, where would it go? Oh, it's going over here. It's going to this bridge. It's coming here. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, I see, I see, I see. All right. So we're manually delivering pinch of pepper to this. Because we don't have this set up 100% like it should be. Technically, I need this somewhere in here. Also notice our lights aren't working. Um, well, it would have to go here, right? Let's deconstruct this. Oh, the lights are working. We just got them on a sensor. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, let's let's make sure we're not build up. Okay, so um, cancel uh, there. We we filled it too much. Not a problem. All right, we can fix that. Let's do it right here. We'll have to wait for someone to come do it because we don't want too much out of it, but we want a little bit, otherwise it's not flowing. Okay, so cancel as soon as it starts flowing smoothly. A little bit more, a little bit more. We still got some stoppage. I think we're good. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> good thing we got that fixed. <laughs> Sometimes we forget about that stuff. Um, so I guess what we can do since we're down here, let's go ahead and also... Um, yeah, let's start filling this as well. Okay, so that it's taken care of. Hey, we finally got this drained out. Well, that's really good. It's really hot in here, but that's good that we got that taken care of. All right, excellent. See, we're making progress all over the place. We just don't even know it. <laughs> all right, so we got this built. It won't overheat now, so that's okay. Still working on the all of these. We can come in there, yes. Okay, good. We got all of our volcanoes, you know, going really nicely. Um, so back to food. All right. <clears throat> so what we were going to do is we're going to switch it over. So we're going to put this in. Um, and what we want to do is instead of this going that way, we want to get it into this. Um, yeah. So I think there's some opportunities here. To fix some stuff. One hundred percent. See, this is our thing which we can get into, so that's feeding that.
Um, kind of got a mess of stuff here. Maybe if we were to come. Yeah, we could do it here. We could do this. No, no, it'd have to come here. Uh, cancel. Because we gotta do bridges. So, we would want a bridge here. And then we're gonna want a bridge here. this off. We're going to do that. Put in a bridge here and do that. I'm going to make sure that we get all of this taken care of as quickly as possible. All right, so, yeah. Um, so we don't need this, so let's go ahead and also just take this out. That one, that one, and that one, so that we're not confused. So the idea is, is that <laughs> we're going to drop pinch of peppers and stuff here. This is going to pick up the pinch of peppers plus anything else we need in the grill. Um, put it into this. That's going to drop it over here where this one can feed it into the grill. Um, this one is also picking up meat, which it'll automatically send through and drop over here. All right, very good, very good. So all we have to do then is that we want Pinchy in here, and then we want our other stuff. So we'd want Gristleberry to be picked up here as well. Gristleberry. Um, technically, we would want the barbecue. fried mushrooms as well and if ever we have it cooked seafood because those things are all going to come into here um, we'd want the lettuce which we don't really have a lot of but you know we'd want it and we'd want any frost buns as well so let's come down here not that we have frost buns we've never made frost buns okay cool um and lettuce. All right, so this is going to pick all that up, drop it over here. All we have to do is get this built. Come on, guys. Build that out. Got to build that. <coughs> we will encourage building. Never did see if we used this yet. Oh, we were doing pinch of pepper into bracky. Ah... So do we have a... What's this one? This one is... Set to what? Meat. Okay. This one is set to eggshells. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Cool. Eventually we'll add some pinch pepper over here. but Right now, I think it's good to push the stuffed berry. All right, let's take a look at our dupe. Doctor in cooking, farming, and ranching. I'm, I'm going to take the farming and ranching for sure. So, um... Farmology, the god. 
he comes with cooking. Interesting. All right. Well, anyways, it's not what we're going to worry about. Okay, you're good. We just need carrying. <laughs> you're good. We'll hold off on anything else. You're good. We'll hold off on anything else. You're good. We will get you drilling two. You're good and you're good. Okay, cool. Prioritize. All right. Farming. There we go. And then schedule. <laughs> I noticed we have all of our farmers on one schedule. So CMT. Mountain. And pack. There we go. <laughs> that should put a farmer on every schedule. This one has two, but that's fine. All right, cool. It's a little bit better there. Um, speaking of uh, stuff, we haven't done any research in a while. Um, now we gotta be careful because we're almost out of data banks. Um, I know we were working on that a little bit. We might be out of data banks, in fact. Is there anything else? Let's just quickly look. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing else. It's we got to go to space and make data banks. All right, well, you know what that means. Did we never hook this in? No, we didn't. Plus, we have to have cooling before we stick this in, because otherwise these don't really produce the light we would want. To really get going. How much is a sun lamp? Yeah, we'd want a sun lamp there and a sun lamp here. Um, but we would also want cooling for this. I have a feeling that a better cooling mechanism for this, instead of this here, we're gonna we're gonna destroy this. We're gonna put in radiant pipes. Um. Okay, where else is the hot zones? Yeah, okay, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so what we're going to do is that this is going to go like that. That like that. And that like that. So what I'm thinking is, is that we put, we do hydrogen because it's a perfect cooling mechanism we can do it like this loop here you know to where you know right now this is collecting tons of heat but um so it's not going as fast as it could as far as a cooling um you know i mean it's it's taking it it's immediately grabbing heat again so we may put additional cooling over there because we're building up a lot of steel but I think what we can do is we can uh, we can expand. Um, I also, even though it's temporary, yeah, we get our new things here. Let's see. We can do one there, and we can do one there. I'm gonna just put those in and get a couple extra arbor trees. Why not for our pip? But then also just wood production happening. All right. Um, so where would we want to put the thermal regulators? to do that. Not in the base. Probably outside the base. Maybe over here, since it's near power, would be a good location. Um, yeah, because we could, we could do it right across here. Yep, so I'm gonna put three thermal regulators. We'll go ahead and put in a floor. We'll hook up these. And kind of like the other one, we're not going to use it always. You know, we're going to control our cooling here. Um, I kind of put this on the wrong side, didn't I? Let's do this and just switch it. 
over here. All right, so um, got it. Come over here. Go up and in. This one. We'll come over here and we'll just go like this. All right. So we want it to go this direction. So boom. And that feeds it there. So boom. And then boom. All right, cool. That gets power to it. That gets everything. The only thing that we need to feed into it is some hydrogen. Well, we do have a line here. We'll probably set up some more of these eventually, so... For now, I'm just going to do a nice little pipe in. There we go. Boom and boom. All right, cool. We got that set up. All right, well, I think we're good for this episode. We did get this stuff all cleaned up. Um, there looks to be a little bit of stuff in here. We'll just do that. We'll just make sure that there's no spillage of anything. No? Okay, we're good. We'll pick up that and then we're good. How's the cooling looking? Oh yeah, we're nice and frozen. I'm going to go ahead and take this and dig those two out so that this activates. I am I'm happy with that. With the cooling going, we should be fine. All right. Well, in the next episode, we'll continue on with our next projects. We've got plenty to do. Um, lots of fun stuff. Uh, we also got to hook these up. These are really high-intensity uh, electrics. So we're probably going to want to um, put a separate... power grid to these and get them over here off of the onto the power grid somewhere so yeah I know I'm, I'm getting just dis distracted again by doing other things instead of ending the episode like I should but you know that that's what happens sometimes you just get going and it's like yeah you know we're gonna do we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that and we're gonna do these and that's what what we're gonna do and yeah can I uh, cancel that bridge there we go and then also before I forget because I will forget boom and then boom boom all right cool all right Should get these finished up and deconstructed. All right, see you in the next episode, everybody. Take care.